tune in for Patrick Ching's painting in paradise. Aloha, I'm Patrick Ching, and thank you for joining me on Painting in Paradise. In this episode, we visit the island of Molokai and get to know an animal that was brought to Hawaii in 1968. The axis deer is still abundant here, and we'll learn a little bit about it, and I'll show you how to draw and paint it too. All this and more on a four-legged episode of... Like all hoofed animals, deer are not native to Hawaii. Axis deer are native to India and were first introduced to Hawaii to the island of Molokai in 1968 as a gift from Hong Kong to Kamehameha V. Later that year, some of those deer were transferred to Oahu. In 1920, they were brought to Lanai and then to Maui in 1959. In the 1960s, extensive hunting removed the last of the deer on Oahu. Axis deer can be recognized by the white spots on their coats. The males are larger than the females, and only the males have antlers, which they use for fighting each other to attract their mates. Axis deer have the ability to survive in extreme conditions and are capable of eating various plants, including the bark of hardwood trees. In many places of Hawaii, the deer are considered harmful to the environment because they eat lots of vegetation, including native plants, and also trample the earth. Many people like to hunt deer in Hawaii. Some hunters go for the bucks with the biggest antlers, and many harvest the deer for its nutritious and flavorful meat. Me, I like the Axis deer because it's a beautiful animal. At first, I had no idea what to paint for tonight's art barn party. And then, one idea. And then more ideas. And more ideas. And soon I had plenty ideas to paint for tonight's art barn party. At the Hotel Molokai, a group of artists of all ages got together for an art bar painting party. It was a beautiful time as the sun set across the sea and the colors of Molokai were cast onto the canvas.
Then we took the deer painting fun to the Molokai Art Center. Now get your paper and pencil and something to draw with ready, because when we return, I'll show you how to draw an access deer. dedicate this mural and to put all of our good thoughts into the successful release and survival of the Halala back into the wild of the Hawaiian forest. So anyway, I want to thank everybody for putting their love and aloha into the mural. It is by myself and the beautiful people of Hilo. And here we have the Halala um, raising their, their young in the nest back in the Hawaiian forest the canoes and the rest of the wildlife, even their their housemate and sometimes predator, the eel, Hawaiian hawk, and uh, other animals, they pull of blossoms and the iwi. Really appreciate you coming out and I wanted to um, send our aloha to uh, Reverend Crab. Awesome seeing the children working together with everyone else. Mahalo for that. And I, I would see this one word that came to me was inspired. And what happened is you have this incredible gift and this aloha that you shared with the kinky. And they uh, now have something that will be shared with people who walk up and down our streets and visit our city. We'll see all of these murals, all of your guys' paintings, and all of your aloha. And I'm just so proud of you guys, and I'm so happy for Mrs. Wines and the class that they got to participate in this project. You know, Mahalo. <laughs> Mahalo, everybody. All right, so now I'm going to show you how I go about drawing a deer. In fact, I'm going to do two, a doe and a buck. Okay, the doe is the female and the buck is the male. And I'm going to put the buck in first. I'll do that, and then we'll put the female, and we'll make it seem like she's a little bit behind him, okay? You ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Everybody ready? Okay. Let's start off with pressing softly. Remember, we're going to press softly, softly to start off, okay? Why do we press softly? So that we don't dig into the paper and create, like, uh, gouges in there that we can't erase or ignore. We're just pressing softly. And I'm going to start off with an oval for the belly and an oval for the rump and an oval for the chest. And here we go. Okay, there's a oval for the body, just like I said. An oval for the rump and an oval for the chest. Believe it or not, that's how I start a deer. <laughs> now I'm also going to give a little circle where the big cheek and the head goes. And another little circle doo -doo -doo -doo, for the mouth. The nose and the mouth is called the muzzle. And another oval right here for that kind of big, uh, big neck area. Um, here we have a little oval for the ear, where the ear is going to go. And I'm starting to see my buck form up, you know, even the tail, yeah. Now for the legs, I also use ovals. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
a bigger one up there and kind of a circle for the knee a uh, bigger one here and kind of a circle for the knee I'm going to put a little circle right there and another one right below it for the hooves okay circle right there and another one right below it a couple of thin lines there and now you see the legs forming up I'll just start it off with one leg on each side and we'll put the other ones in later okay for the antlers this is going to be like whoa, way over there and I'm going to give them a little fork in the antlers there and doo -doo -doo -doo. I just drew one antler so far in fact I'm just going to leave it right there it's like the profile of a male deer called the buck show you where the antlers go a hey, couple other lines that can connect the head right there and I think that's looking pretty good for my buck now you can start to press harder as we put in the details I'm going to use another pen here's one okay I'm just going to use a bigger pen so you can see it but whatever you're using you can start by pressing softly even if it's a pen or a pencil when we add the details when you know where you want things that's when we can uh, press a little harder or like I said I'll be using another pen you ready okay follow along with me now tell you what I'll start off at the head come around the ear there remember that whatever lines you leave in front of other lines you're telling the viewer what's in front of what I'm going to give him a little bit of a shoulder and the rump area there starting with the front legs okay did you notice that it's kind of similar to a horse and many other hooved animals yeah the belly area the back legs shaped a little different yeah so the rump area comes down and a little point over there I think it's called the point of a hawk hawk and the hoof I'm gonna finish off with the tail and then the antlers All right, now I'm going to put in the maca so the guy can see a little bit what's going on. A little curve of a nostril there. And we've got the profile of a buck. Now we know that a buck has four legs, not just two yet. So I'm just going to kind of repeat this shape here. Make it a little farther away looking. Again with the back legs. You know, make them look a little farther away. And I can also add another antler that's in the back here because we know they got two antlers. You know, make it seem like they got two antlers because they do, yeah? All right. Now that we got our buck shaped up, let's start to play with this color a little bit because, you know, they have kind of like a patch of light under there, under the chest. It's also a patch of light under their belly. Even their back legs can be light and the bottom part of their tail. And when you color your buck or you paint them, this is when this comes into play. You can take this top part and make it nice and dark, kind of like a, a red rust color. And if you want to add this time also, you can start to add the dots or the spots, you know. Go get a picture of a, a buck or a deer and start to see how the spots are lined up. You'll notice that they're kind of lined up in rows, kind of like rows of spots. And they're really fun to paint like that, okay? I'm doing a little quick drawing, you know, kind of cartoony. I don't know if cartoony is a real word, but it is now. Yeah. And there I have my buck. Now I did tell you I was going to draw one more deer, and that is doe, a deer, a female deer, and I'm going to make my doe on this side, okay? So again, I'll get my pen, my thinner pen. You can get your pencil. Remember to press softly. How are we going to press? Softly. softly. That's right. And just like I did my buck, I'm going to do my doe. 
Except the doe is not going to have those antlers. That's for the buck to go fight with each other with to impress the wahine deer, which are called doe. And uh, that's why the bucks have antlers and the doe do not. Okay. So my doe, I'm going to start her off again with the oval like that. And another oval for the rump and an oval for the chest. Uh, this time I'm going to make the doe looking right at you. Me, you, whoever she's looking at. She has uh, got the attention. She's just... So I'm going to put a circle kind of looking straight at us right there and a little muzzle where the mouth is going to go. Um, ears, they got kind of big looking ears. There's her neck. I'm going to make her look a little more dainty, you know. Uh, still nice long legs, ovals, um, circles for the knee or the hawk area. Another circle down here. And I kind of like to put two circles for the bottom of the hooves, you know? Shoot, shoot. Kind of thin lines there. And the tail again. Okay, so this is my doe. And again, that's going to be used as a guide for me. I don't have to follow it exactly, okay? But now that I got my doe lined up there, I am going to get a bigger pen and show you how I do my details, okay? Not the head, but detail. I made a joke like that, get it? Details. Anyway, here's how I'm gonna do my doe. I'm gonna just kinda give her a little hump there and shape her ears up already. Big old ears, yeah? Her head and her neck. All right, I'm gonna give her nice long legs here. Okay. And kind of the rump area. This is like the point of the hawk. Not hawk that flies, it's the hawk. H-O-C-K. Put her hoofies over there. Okay, put her hoofies. And Finally, the tail. The maka goes in uh, right up to the ears. And the maka is the eye, yeah? Oh yeah, they need to have nice big maka to see with. Uh, nose, doo -doo -doo -doo. and a little bit of the mouth area. Yeah, give her a little bit of a mouth. Yeah. Okay, again, just like the male, the female has a white patch underneath and on the bottom of the tail. And just like the buck, we know she don't just got two legs, yeah? We're gonna repeat the shape and add another leg up front. We can make it a little higher than the first one. We gotta make people believe that that leg is in the back, yeah? There we go. And lastly, her spots. All right, so just put the spots where you like. Yeah, I'm gonna darken up their eyes a little bit. This guy a little bit of a mouth. Oh, he's happy now. <laughs> I hope you are too. I'll tell you what, we'll give him a little bit of grass to play in. And you can make this picture your very own, depending on what kind of things you put in back. You can put up one of your favorite mountains or landscapes or beach scenes or whatever. And then don't forget the final thing, your sig nature. And there you have it a doe, and a buck. When painting axis deer, take note of the light colored areas like the belly, the chest, inside the legs, and under the tail. Then make the top areas a dark reddish brown. And finally, put on those adorable white spots. Ta-da! When we return, we'll meet a guy with some really dear friends. If I were I would paint my reverie If that's the only way for you to be with me We'd be there together Just like we used to be Underneath the swelling skies for all to see and I'm dreaming of a place where I could see your face and 
We all know that reindeer are what powers Santa's sleigh, but the real reindeer are a different kind of deer than Axis deer. Still, here in Hawaii, most of the deer we see are Axis deer. So I enjoyed visiting the kids at Aikahi Elementary School and painting Santa, his sleigh, and his dear friend Rudolph. Thank you for joining me on Painting in Paradise. I hope you like learning about how to draw and paint the Axis deer. While the lessons are fresh in your head, try going and teach it to someone else. I'm sure there's someone who'd love to learn from you. Aloha. Thank you. 